Okay, one and all, this is going to be like a hopefully two minute uh, summary of the meeting that just took place thanks to uh, now city manager Mr. Peter Iglesias and Stuart Chalane of the Misting Store, expert on misting machines who did South Beach 17 restaurants on Ocean Drive. Here we are in Geralda Plaza and the question today was how do we preserve our options? You see here this infrastructure, Mr. Shalane said he's gonna need this uh, if we wanna do the entirety of Geralda Plaza. He said that this section, the middle section of Geralda uh, can be done, so to speak, this week if the city has the uh, electric and water uh, for $21,000. He'd given us a price earlier of the entire strip, uh, entirety of Geralda Plaza, 40,000. He's backing off of that figure says it might be more but now to get to the heart of this meeting because again the question was can we preserve our options here by keeping this infrastructure up that costs the city approximately sixty thousand dollars and the answer is no and yes this these these columns here are not hurricane code compliant uh, and they will be coming down uh, because technically uh, it's not hurricane code compliant. However, the good news is that there has been a groundswell of support, public opinion, wanting to have more art exhibits like the Umbrella Sky. And so they're looking into getting a permanent structure that is hurricane code compliant. Um, so the, the popular will would appear to be there for what we need for missing machines, namely, an expensive uh, but permanent hurricane code compliant infrastructure. Why is that needed? Because with a misting machine, think about it, you need electric and you need water. Um, so uh, I'm over two minutes here. There's one other issue that uh, from a technological point of view that was so great with these two individuals being here. Um, the city has a 10 year ordinance. You can't pull up these pavers. Uh, uh, so what Mr. Iglesias was explaining is that the way you run, let's just say, electric and water is you have a boring uh, machine or a boring uh, line that goes under the pavers. And so, not that you want all these details, but the water and the electric are available right here. And to get it to the center place where the, we have an offer here right up here uh, for 21000 to do it this week would have to run a boring line that is a pipe let's say an underground pipe if you will down carrying the, the electric and or water as needed but it's doable I need to get prices on both of those things a permanent structure here but but again in the middle we already have the structure we don't need it, anything new to be done this week so to speak and then I also need to get the and that's going to be the expensive item right there and then I also need to get the expense on the piping if you will the, the boring line underneath the pavers. Thanks for listening.